Franco Morbidelli hasn't taken part in a MotoGP race since the German Grand Prix back in June due to a knee injury that required surgery. He was recently confirmed as a factory Yamaha rider for the remainder of 2021 and 2022. He is expected to return in the next race at Masano, and his mentor and former teammate Valentino Rossi has now revealed why the recovery period has been so long, while also speaking about the problems surrounding his own MotoGP team during the press conference in Aragon. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, Rossi reveals why Franco Morbidelli's recovery is taking so long. Rossi began by addressing the uncertainty surrounding the title sponsorship of his MotoGP team next year. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't really understand it. I'm not informed about the latest news. I thought everything was fine, but there seems to be some critical issues. Fortunately, it's not really my problem. In any case, we will be in MotoGP next year. That I can assure you. He then revealed how grave Franco's knee injury was. Franco, together with Carlo, is fighting against time because the surgery was serious, because the injury to the knee of Franco was quite bad. He signed off by delving into the challenges Franco has faced during this period. So they made a deep surgery, everything is good, but the rehabilitation is very difficult, and I saw Frankie suffer a lot. He had to put in a lot of effort every day, and now in the last period it's improved, and he will try for Masano, and I hope that he can be good. Fast Feed Championship leader Fabio Quartararo believes that what has made the difference for him this year is the regularity that he couldn't have last year. This year I am very consistent and that has changed a lot. To fight for the title, consistency is the key, he added. Aprilia CEO Massimo Rivola doesn't want to be involved in the Yamaha story because he doesn't know all the details. But what Maverick Vinales did was definitely wrong. He was punished for it. Now we have the opportunity to do the best for him, Rivola stated. LCR Honda's Takaki Nakagami has explained that everyone is on different paths and different bikes, so it's hard to say which development path Honda will take. Only me and Alex use the same bike, and I don't know about the factory team. I knew Mark tried his own way, tried various things, tried to find solutions. It seems that HRC tries to follow Mark's comments and tries to develop new things, he stated. KTM Tech 3's Ikele Corner honestly can't say anything about his future right now. I hope I can say something soon, because I know my future. It's not all closed, but I know my future. Honestly, I can say I'm very happy with this choice, but for now, I can't say anything else, he reiterated. Former MotoGP world champion Jorge Lorenzo feels that Marc Marquez's injury changed things completely. If he hadn't crashed, he would have continued to win. He came back too soon. Subsequently, it's easy to say. Everybody makes mistakes, even Marquez. Ducati's Peko Banyaya thinks that Michelin already has a great quality control of the tyres. We can't ask too much because it's hard to understand whether a tyre is good or not. Tyre problems are something that can happen, but I would like it to not happen, Peko concluded. Should Franco Morbidelli have gone for the knee surgery sooner? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP 